Today's game is coming to you live from Hexon, Texas, at the raucous AK-47 Stadium, home of the $10 Bible Beer and Bullet Combo Meal. The crowd is armed, overzealous, and drunk, so basically a normal Sunday here in Hexon. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Hexon. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. with the Brain Scrambler. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Droid rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down and six. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. It's <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Wow, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. Second down and six. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and long. You've got to catch that. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. <laughs> Don't you just love to 
the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He's at the 40. The 30. Here comes the defense. He's at the 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second and three. up a yard somehow. Third down and six. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Ray Graham with a ball and didn't fall down. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Not by much. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. Second down at nine.
Third down and, well, good luck. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is at palm cream. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. <laughs> A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. You can't keep a good mutant down. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. Third down and the punter is warming up. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. <laughs> First in and three. for a couple of yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And this guy just blew up and he's on fire. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. And the quarterback throws a 
murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player. Well, oh, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. The ref goes a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. Yo, guys, suck. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. He takes a good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And we're at the two-minute warning. Second down and five. Caught for the first down. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Wow, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. Oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. No. I love this job. <laughs> A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down and a lot. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And it's first and ten. goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls called me Speedy. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Damn, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too mutilated. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? Shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right now. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime.
brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Wim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip tea show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten three yard catch on the play every little bit counts those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day Second down and seven. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Scrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom! They'll be scraping his pieces off the field for months after that hit. Yeah, you have to admire him, Grim. He really leaves his heart on the field. And his liver, and his lungs, all in his skull. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, with the punishing hit. First down and one. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah, nobody likes to watch that happen to a ref. Yeah, you got that right, Brickhead. They'd rather be down there in the field doing it else. A lot more fun. Mm-hmm. First down and forever. Man, about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And Bricks, they just. 
just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. right there folks oh, seriously man you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me you get my grill i'll ruin your world ruin it and it's first and ten well he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball what a peck ahead get the ball asshole hey asshole up here Oh, and the defense jumps on side to the tank the QB. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First down and one. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. With the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, that was a big hit. 
Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a conversation. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this out, man. And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Nicely done. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Wow, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Pow! With the brain scrambler! <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> that pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Four. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. The kick is good. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, 
let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Roid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. And these guys been kicking us for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Gwen. Yeah, big it And he puddles forward for the two-point conversion. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. What is this, Andy's wrestling? And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And a hard run there picks up the first down. <laughs> They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> and the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. That's it. That's their last timeout. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Now, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. you got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. you got to make that catch. Third down and three. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. The game on the line, it's fourth down and he makes the catch and they breathe new life. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball for but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs> Second down, and, and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And the Oilers just got spanked. Didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...